iPhone 15 Pro Max versus Galaxy S23 Ultra speed test number two. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, go. This time I have the One UI 6 on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. That's the main reason why I wanted to make this comparison because when I initially launched the speed test of these two, I kept getting the comment, would you wait till the One UI 6 comes out, Nick? Can you cover it when One UI 6 comes out well now we have the official version of one ui6 and you could see that the iphone can still turn on faster i will say though that the samsung has a lot more features and go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoy this content because we are going to be covering the upcoming uh we're going to do a full comparison breakdown we've done it before we'll do it again so be subscribed for the one ui6 versus the ios 17 full comparison okay so you can see that we are now into the phones and this is definitely the one ui6 take a look at that dynamic weather widget right there take a look at the new quick panel up here that's a new update for one ui6 and then over here we do have the ios 17.1.1 and this has the android 14 version which is what one ui6 is based on snapdragon 8 gen 2 Super powerful CPU, although we are on the 8 Gen 3 for certain devices, not quite here in the US yet. Um, they are on the Xiaomi 14 Pro. You'll see over here, eight gigabytes of RAM and the upcoming OnePlus 12 should have it as well. You'll see 17.1.1 right there. Now the big thing we're gonna be looking for is has it improved as it got smoother? Now the S23 Ultra already won against the 15 Pro Max and GPU scores. So far, it's looking pretty good. You know, iOS also super smooth, but Samsung coming right there with them. They've been they've been doing a good job these past few years. This is no longer the Samsung of the past. I mean, it is buttery smooth now. You see that pretty much the same in general performance. Okay, guys, so everything is closed out for both phones. Let's see if this One UI 6 has made a difference. We have 17.1.1. Both of them have had some updates since the original speed test I did. So they both should be better here. Let's go into calendar that's faster on samsung clock faster on samsung as well let's go into weather that was apple but that weather app was quicker than what i've seen before on samsung devices so they they actually made the weather app load quicker now let's go into calculator faster on samsung we'll go into play store app store that was quicker on Samsung, but then Apple loaded it after where Samsung was still loading this content here. So I'm gonna probably call that one about a draw, but mostly to Apple. Let's go into Groupon. You'll see faster on the right. And we're still loading up on the left there. So certain applications will load faster for the Samsung device. And <laughs> what astonishes me is that the Samsung device still looks this good, even though this phone has been out for several months longer than the iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max. Also, this phone is on sale for like several hundred dollars off for Black Friday tomorrow, which is going on right now. I'll leave a link to that down below. Um, but the <laughs> this is crazy how good this phone still is. It just makes me excited for the upcoming S24 Ultra. Let me know if you're also excited for that phone. You know we're gonna cover it around these parts. So be subscribed for that. But Instagram, pretty close on both. We'll go into Amazon. And that's faster on the right, probably due to that little ribbon tab ad thingy. So let's go ahead and do that again. Yeah, still a hair quicker on Samsung, but not by much. Let's go to Best Buy. And you'll see Samsung loads this faster. So, you know, even with Apple's A17 Pro chip, they really haven't, oof, that was, I think that was Samsung. I'm not even kidding. Let's go into eBay. Let me know if I'm wrong though. You know, I am trying to, call it the best I can, but some of those apps that are really close, it's tough to see sometimes. I think, the, let's go into Dead Trigger 2, but I think that Samsung's performance is just getting better and better, especially with the One UI 6, that's faster on Apple. With the One UI 6 and with their, you know, they're improving their animations a little bit. Let's go ahead and see what's happening here. So this actually took longer by a pretty decent margin than Apple. Let's go into Subway Surfers, and that's what Apple really talked about. They talked about how their gaming performance is leaps and bounds better than before, and you can play console level games and stuff. But you can see right here, it's blowing away the Samsung here when it comes to loading even Subway Surfers on this one. Let's go into Temper Run 2 and see what happens here. 
and Apple in the lead again. So just like years before, them games are launching faster on the iPhone. That's just the bottom line. We'll see what uh, Samsung does with GPU next, although the focus will be on AI improvements to compete better with things like Google Pixel and uh, just, just pushing the industry forward into the AI space with the upcoming S24 Ultra, but I still think they're gonna throw a super fast Snapdragon chip on there. And with, Snap, and with Qualcomm announcing the Orion and all these insanely powerful chips they've been doing, you know, it's just gonna get better and better, especially considering that Samsung has been having this design for Galaxy thing going on where the chip is even better well optimized for the S24 Ultra which is gonna be coming up. However, there are some rumors that they're gonna be using some Exynos chips depending on region, which is gonna annoy some people, um, especially if Samsung doesn't match up to the Qualcomm. Let's go into Geekbench 6, and you'll see faster on the right over the iPhone. Still not updated for the speed yet. Let's go into 3D Mark, faster on the iPhone. And we'll go over here into camera. That launches faster on the iPhone. It was on the front facer, so let's go ahead and close it out. We'll do that one more time. Camera, and that might have been Samsung. You can see they did update the look of the camera here on the Samsung device. They have a new font as well. The whole font is different. It's kind of a fresh look though. I kind of like it. At first it was a little weird to me, but I'm kind of digging it because it's kind of giving it a, like a fresher look. So overall in this initial application test, I would say that the Samsung has faster animations. It feels snappier. But Apple still has more power when it comes to launching games and probably even scores better in the GPU department. We're gonna cover that here in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and run through the applications in RAM management. We'll see how they perform here. Now, Apple has been basically the gold standard here, so I'm gonna fly through this as fast as possible. You can see they don't really reload anything. They have buttery smooth look. They're kind of like the benchmark. Best Buy looks like it was launching again, but nothing serious. They're like the gold standard. I think this is the phone people look at, and companies look at when they're trying to improve their animations. So let's see how well this One UI 6 does. This is the newer software. We'll go here, there, not bad, not bad so far. Again, you have to pull, I have to pull that. I think I have to pull that navigation. Is that a reload? Yeah, that is a total reload for Dead Trigger 2, not cool. Um, I don't know why they did that. Maybe they closed it in the background. There's a feature where it'll close applications. These animations look quite nice here on One UI 6. I'm not kidding with you. They look pretty darn good. Um, I'm not disappointed at all with those. They didn't look choppy or nothing, but I don't, I don't know if they look as smooth still as the iPhones. They're pretty darn close though. This is the closest I've ever seen it, like ever. Let's take a look at that again. Let's, let's go through a few more. Yeah, this is some of the closest I've seen it ever. Maybe they are just about as smooth. Wow, Samsung is definitely catching up here. Definitely, this is exciting times to be, you know, trying out the Samsung device. I mean, we already know iPhone has got that down pat. They got it locked down. They've been doing that great for a long time, but if you wanted to try Samsung again, you were trying them years ago, you were like, I'm done with them. <laughs> this is a good time to you know, enjoy the speed and performance if you had issues in the past and you just wanted to try this, uh, to try Samsung phones out again. But the iPhone still an amazing product as well. We already know that they have really great animations. Okay, so the iPhone is already done with the CPU benchmark 2848 on the single core with a 6968 on the multi. Now, I believe I got higher on the multi core before around 7000 something. So this is not my highest I've seen but it's still ridiculous um, on this device. So yeah, let me go back to my history. You'll see 7146. Let's go back to the initial speed test we did way back in the day. 2905, that was on 17.0.2 and 7153. So these vary, but you can see it's still around the same score. The Samsung takes a lot longer to finish this CPU benchmark. You could see it's about to wrap it up here. But just by judging by how long it takes to finish it, it kind of makes me think that is the iPhone's CPU that much more powerful or is it just that this application is much better optimized for this phone? You'll see 1915, so that's almost a thousand points better on a single core and almost 2000. And if you go by the previous results, almost 2000 better on the multi-core score. So the iPhone on the technical standpoint is at least in Geekbench 
is quicker on the CPU. Okay, so now we're running the 3D Mark GPU test. We're gonna see if the One UI 6 has improved this area. I know that the it's more down to the processor GPU inside, but the Samsung device was doing really good earlier this year, so I hope it retains its lead in this test. It was beating the 15 Pro Max, I believe in the last one, or the 14 Pro Max. It was. It was pretty impressive. So we're gonna be back when this is done with the results and we'll see what kind of frame rates we get and what kind of scores we get. Okay, so the final score is in and you can see the iPhone with a 3716, the Samsung with a 3390, 22 FPS over here, 2030 now. They improved the heat management which was making the score worse in the past. So now the iPhone is actually benching a little bit higher here even on the GPU. So if we go down, this score is better than 86% of devices, better than 81. Very small improvement, um, a very small lead here on the iPhone. It's 5%, so according to the 3D Mark. However, the Samsung has the ability to potentially sustain that gaming performance longer without, you know, kind of like cooling down because this phone gets really warm. Um, so in the actuality, it's really not going to be a major difference when gaming, although Apple does launch these games faster. Last thing I wanna do is like I always do is cover the camera. So let me go ahead and close out the camera here on both and let's launch the camera because you know I don't know about you, but I don't like when the cameras launch slow. So let's go ahead and do that again in three, two, go. And you can see Apple launches the camera quicker. Three, two, go but Samsung does it good there. It was just on that initial one. Three, two, go. Now Samsung does have the 10 times optical versus the five times on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So there is still a lead. I really hope they stick with that 10X optical on the next phone, but there are rumors they're going to a 5X. Hope that doesn't happen. That would be a downgrade in my opinion. Even if the results are sharper, I still don't like the fact we're gonna go down and zoom. I hope that rumor does not hold true. But that's going to wrap it up here. I will say that the iPhone is the faster phone overall, but the Samsung's One UI 6, since that's what we're talking about, definitely animations are really solid. They're really nice, improved, and the performance is still great on this phone. So if you're looking to pick one up, it's a great deal. Um, if you want a little bit slightly faster, you know, scores, then you'll probably want the iPhone 15 Pro Max, or if you just like that phone more, you'll still benefit there but the s24 ultra should bring this a little bit closer in competition so stay tuned for that be subscribed for that that's not too far away i'll catch you on the next one have a happy thanksgiving and a black friday weekend i'll catch you all in the next episode nick here and peace